Hello my friends, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm visiting the beautiful country of Greece and once again I'm visiting the Greek islands. This time I'm visiting the beautiful island of Amorgos or Amorgos as it is called in English. I'm just north from the cosmopolitan island of Santorini. In this particular video we're going to visit the magnificent monastery of Virgin Mary of Josavbiotisa the top touristy spot here in Amorgos. This is a monastery built in the 11th century by the Byzantine Emperor Alexios Komnenos and it is built inside the cliffs of a huge rock. This is Vec. Let's go for a walk. Let's admire the beautiful architecture of this monastery and I will give you more information about it concerning its name and also its construction. Let's do it. And uh, here is our very first view of the monastery. And look at the magnificent area, the spectacular area where the monastery is built at. There are sheer cliffs all around, 400 meters in height. And right there in the middle of the cliffs, almost embedded into the cliffs is the monastery. This is the eastern coast of Amorgos. You can see a small beach down below. It's a very windy area. How did they build this magnificent structure here in the 11th century? Beautiful, how magnificent it is. Okay, we're gonna have to climb 360 steep steps in order to get up there. It's well worth the effort, however, because of the views. I hope we're gonna get a chance to go inside the monastery. And once again, here's a view of the cliffs above me. The most touristy area in the island of Amorgos. And in order to enjoy it, you have to come here early in the morning before the crowds arrive. Then it gets very, very noisy. And with every turn, as I'm climbing up the steps, you can see the beautiful monastery shining in the sunshine. Look at that. It's right there in front of me. I have climbed about 250 of the very steep steps. And now I'm rewarded with magnificent views of the monastery. Look at that. can't wait to get closer, to get better views of it, but from here we can see how large it is. It's about 60 meters in height, built right into the rock. How did they do this in the 11th century? Here it is, a close-up view only about 100 meters now before I reach the gate, the entrance. Once again, I'm rewarded with beautiful views of the cliffs above it and of the beautiful building of the monastery right there. Oh my God, I've made it. Here's a view of this magnificent monastery from down below. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful from here. As I said, it shines in the bright sunshine. By the way, if you visit, select if you can, a sunny day, it makes a very big difference.
Now before we go inside, let's pause for a moment and let's examine when it was built, by whom, and why it was built in this spot right here. It will make more sense as we're visiting this ancient monastery in this magnificent location. Okay, before we go inside this very historic monastery, we need to examine a couple of facts concerning its name and also its construction. It is dedicated to Virgin Mary the Josaviotisa, Virgin Mary that came or originated from Joseva. What is Joseva really? It is an area outside of Jericho in Palestine, about 30 kilometers outside of Jericho, and there is a Greek monastery which still exists dedicated to St. John of Joseva. Joseva means the dead area, and that's because it's in the middle of a desert. Well, in 450 after Christ, the monks of St. John of Joseva built a miraculous icon. In 750, after the Arab raids of the area around Jericho, they decided to save the icon. They put it on a boat, and the boat shipwrecked right here below the monastery. The locals took the icon and put it in a church in Hora, which is about two miles away, the main town of Amorgos in the 9th century. Well, during that time period, there were also a lot of pirate raids here in Amorgos, and they decided to save the icon, so they built a very small monastery inside the rocks in this area that we saw here in order to save the icons. You see, the pirates could not attack a church which was built in the rock so high up from the surface of the sea. At about 1088, the Byzantine Emperor Alexios Komnenos donated a lot of money and they constructed this huge monastery that you see here. At one time, he had over 150 monks living in it. And thus, the name of the uh, monastery, Panagia, or Virgin Mary of Josaviotisa. This is the Virgin Mary of Josaviotisa that originated from Joseva, and it was built, the final uh, structure of the building you see here, by Alexios Komnenos around 1088. Now let's go inside. And uh, here's a panoramic view of the area with the steps that I took in order to get here, the white steps that we saw. And here's the entrance on the side of the monastery on a tower here. So what we're going to do now is a few more steps, go through this very small entrance, which is about a meter fifty in height. And we are going to be inside. Let's do it. Okay, I've made it to the top. The church is to my left. But first of all, we need to visit a famous balcony. We are right on top of the monastery at this area. Let's exit. Here's the church and the bell tower we saw from down below. Let's take the steps. Let's go up. Here's another view of the bell tower and of the cliffs right above it, right there. And this is the famous balcony. That's the Greek flag right there. The beautiful Aegean Sea. The steps down below, right there, and another view of the church, now to my right, and of the cliffs above, right there. What do you think? Magnificent, isn't it? Let's go inside. Now, we're not allowed to take any photographs inside the church, unfortunately, but we'll see what else we can videotape. Here's another view of the magnificent views down below. Okay, at the end of the visit, each visitor gets a chance to visit the Hondariki. 
which is the visitor's center here on the seventh floor of the monastery. From here you get beautiful views of the Aegean below from the window. There's a gift shop right here. You get a chance to buy an icon or a souvenir from the monastery. And then there is an area where you get to sit and enjoy a local drink of Araki with a glass of water. That's the Araki right there, which is a mix of uh, light alcohol with cinnamon and uh, some spices. And in the room all around you see photographs of the previous monks that served in the monastery. Currently there are three monks here in the 14th century and there were about 300 monks. There are over 70 rooms below us. More beautiful views from the window here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a break, sit down, enjoy my Araki and my Lukum or Lukumi right there. Okay, my friends, here's our very last view of the monastery of Virgin Mary Hozovyotisa. This is the entrance that we took to visit this magnificent building and monastery here in Amorgos in Greece. What an absolutely fascinating and spectacular place indeed. What I'm going to have to do now is go down the steps carefully and enjoy the views of the surrounding area in the middle of a beautiful sunny day. What an incredible place to visit. One of the most beautiful in Greece, really. The top touristy spot in Amorgos. Here's another view. You can't have enough views of this place. Magnificent. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for viewing my videos and following me in my adventures around the world. Bye-bye.